We got a grant from um, from Baltimore County um, Conservation, and uh, we got the sign and the other sign. <laughs> we had three accidents since then. Yeah. This is our third time. Jesus. Okay. Two so, thousand ten. Okay. It got hit by a car. We were able to uh, Baltimore County Police got the information from that driver. We were able to get um, funds from his insurance company replace that sign. This sign is just hit and December, and, and December Scott December. recorded all of that and uh and, and contacted us and and he contacted the police. Yeah, yes, <laughs> right over here. Yeah. It, it was it was closer. Actually it was further over that way. This this close was over on that side. And this time, you know, since we got it was fixed by I just want to tell Mike's story. Yeah. <laughs> we were at a beautification meeting and Mary said, Why don't we ask our Court for technical high school if they can fix it for us? And so I called Mike and uh, carpentry teacher Bill Lynch and he came over and they've helped us before too in the past. And they came over, readily came over, looked at it, picked up the pieces and said, We'll do it. And so we got it back and um, you know, we had the guys put it back together. David and his brother, Arthur, and some other folks put it together. Mm -hmm. And uh, and hey, Ricky, Ricky just came. He helped with it too. And then after we did that, and, you know, we painted some of it. You have your new sign up, and uh, very happy about that. Uh, I was very uh, upset that someone hit it. Um, and uh, it was great that the community came together, worked together, and uh, that you just got it back up. So uh, we'll start with Edie. How does that make you feel, Edie? Oh my goodness. I'm so excited we finally got this together. This isn't the first time the sign's been run over. This is the third time. You know, we put the sign up in 2005, and then in, uh, not long after that, the sign was run over. And then again in 2010, Larry can tell, tell you all about that one. It was run over again, and just recently, you know, the sign was run. In December 2018, the sign was run over again. So it's a bad spot for a sign, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. These are the, the, original, the original drawings for the sign uh, from, from Alice Mason, who used to be the president of the Fire Station Conservation Team. This sign that's up here now is actually the same sign that was hit and um, that was replaced in 2011. It was hit in 2010, replaced in 2011. This sign was rebuilt by, the, like, like Edie said, the, the students over at uh, Silas Point Tech. But uh, in, in 2010, we didn't have any problem with that guy's insurance company. Uh, they, they stepped forward and, and asked us what we needed. And, uh, they took care of the sign and beautification and everything. Just this time, um, you were instrumental and, and helping us locate the car that they hit the sign while they're doing video that night. And uh, uh, we used that video to, to find out where the car was and point the police to it. It's just that the, the gentleman didn't have any shots. So yeah. She had to call on Murray Coleman yes. for a solution. With a bright idea. And take it, Murray. Well, the day, the morning I came out and saw the sign demolished, I was terribly upset. And I saw pieces of the car on the ground. So I picked it up, and as my dog and I was walking up toward Nova, I saw the car that matched that color. And I saw how destroyed, demolished it was in the front. And I said, this is the car. And I stopped and took a picture of the license plate and sent it to Edie, Gloria, and Larry. And uh, they, they took it from there. But during a meeting of the beautification team, which I just sat in on, and they were talking about funding for beautification projects for our conversation. And the sign would, in, in order to replace the sign, the, the money that was, the funding that was quoted was $4,000. So thinking, oh my goodness, that's going to come right off the top. 
and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, how can we get this done? And all of a sudden it hit me. The Silas Point Vocational Tech School, maybe they will help us. And I presented that idea and Edie ran with it and now it's done. Yay. <laughs> you know, and, and right away when I requested, you know, when I told the school about Aquasan and the principal, Mike Wegline, and the carpentry teacher, Bill Lynch, they came right out to the site. They picked up the pieces and said, we'll fix it. And they took it to their students and Bill worked with the students and they put it back together again and gave it to us. And then we had to go from there. I got some guys from yeah, the community the to us. put it up. We had to put the post back up. We had to find the ball because one of the balls at the top was missing. So we went back to Hunt Valley to get that one. And uh, they painted it and put it all back together again. And, you know, here we are. But you know what? They also destroyed the garden when they ran yeah. over it. It was a mess. So the guys had to work on that part, you know, digging up what was there before. And so we brought Dundalk Renaissance Corporation into it. And Tasha um, told us about the Ravens Pedal 100, which was a, um, a project where they wanted service hours. And so they sent us some volunteers. They gave us all the materials, you know, the mulch and the plants. And on September the 23rd, we all came together. Several members of our community, I mean, of our community, maybe I think that, eight of us and about five people from the volunteers that they got the Ravens on the other garden across the street. So we got a whole lot of work done with those volunteers and we are just so thankful for DRC, to all the volunteers, and to the principal and the carpentry teacher at South Point Technical High School. And the garden and the across students. the street, even though it's part of the entrance to our community, is not our property. That is Dollar Tree's property. So we did them a service along with beautifying uh, the the uh, site for our community by digging up and planting over there, right. so it makes it look very nice coming yeah. into our community. Yeah. We're, I proud, agree. we're proud of Turner Station. We wanted, you know, beautification team. All of us who live here, we wanted to be better, to look better, and that's the entryway to our community. So we wanted to look the best that it can be. Thank you. Good job. No, certainly. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Scott. And along with that, the Ravens made me, the Ravens cheerleader made, <laughs> made me an official champion <laughs> for the Ravens. And I got to cheer with them. All right. Proud yeah. of that. Proud of you. <laughs> thank you, Scott.